Hello and welcome to the second video in the cheese series. This is going to feature an out-of-the-box snipe attempt. Let me explain what happened so far. I went first land, second air jester first, and this jester killed an upgrading mechs of the enemy air player. This was to signalize him that I'm not going to screw around and instead push aggressively. He reacted to it by building some land units. My own air player also has some land units to hold off the attacks of the enemy front player. This way, I, as the front player on the top team, can focus on attacking the air player of the bottom team, who has to defend his expansion. So far, my ACU has stealth and gun, and I'm also getting the torpedo upgrade. You can see that I have the full ring of T1 power generators, and even though I'm power stalling right now because I'm not familiar with the cost of the torpedo upgrade, this is going to allow me, after the torpedo upgrade is done, to upgrade my factory to T2 and get a gunship quickly if I uh, feel that the kill is not going to work out with just the gun, stealth and torpedo ACU and the land units. So let me explain how this snipe is going to work. It's a three-step plan, you can say. First, I want to move in my gun ACU and overcharge any sort of PD he has here. Then my land units are going to force the enemy ACU to retreat. Where is he going to retreat? Well, he can go back, but my land units can go around there and flank. If he goes here, I can also move in a ghetto gunship and kill him there. So he's going to move into the water. Getting torpedo upgrade on a map like Canis, where you don't have a lot of water, is not exactly obvious, so I'm sure he's not going to expect it. If he goes into the water, he could try to go over this land bridge and retreat into this water. And the way I will use my units uh, is going to prevent that from happening, because he'll get killed if he does that, since my units are going down here. So I predict that he's going to go here, or rather I don't give him any other option except going here. So the rest comes down to expectation and calculation, right? And the torpedo upgrade damage is quite high. And while he's underwater, he's going to receive a lot of damage. But I anticipate that he'll make it out and try to retreat towards this or this side. This side probably because there's some anti-air, right? So again, it's a three-step plan. In the first step, I'm going to make him retreat and seal off this retreat. In the second step, he's going to receive most of the damage via torpedo upgrade. And in the third step, the ghetto gunship is going to deliver the kill. So let's see how it works out. My ACU is moving in now, and it's overcharging the PD. He has a lot of anti-air turrets here and less units because I made him build these. I had some gestures and attacked him over here, and he reacted by building anti-air. Uh, this is why he has less uh, mass put into factories and units. And I can just overrun him. As predicted, he is retreating into the water. And as soon as I am in the water as well, my torpedo upgrade starts shooting. And you can see how much damage that deals. Usually it's used to counter like T1 Navy and also kill like some T2 ships, right? It's a very strong upgrade. And using it against an ACU is quite effective as well. So you can see he lost like half of his HP just from going through the water while I was here with my torpedo upgrade. The units are sealing up this retreat. And now my ghetto gunship is moving in. As soon as he realizes that I have a ghetto, he is retreating back into the water. Unfortunately, there is nothing he can do anymore. Because if he's underwater, my torpedo kills him, and if he's out of the water, my ghetto kills him. I'm retreating the second ghetto and this one is uh, receiving damage, so he's trying to go back on the land. But I have a second one if I need to. And there he goes. So, 
you can see that torpedo upgrade on this map is quite strong. And you can choose to upgrade torpedo, stealth and gun. And later in the game, you can replace the torpedo upgrade with laser. Torpedo and laser are in the same slot. So you only sacrifice the torpedo if you want to get a laser later. You can also go cloak later. So this front spot allows for a lot of cheese. Not just the comm block you saw in the last video, but also a torpedo-centric gameplay. I hope you enjoyed this, and good luck trying it out.